Fletcher, can you hear us? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Do you have quorum on the city side, Fletcher? We do have four, yes. Okay, we'll start the meeting then. Okay. It is now actually 631, and I call to order the meeting of the Joint Lincoln County and Sioux Falls Planning Commission. As a reminder, this meeting is being recorded. The order of events tonight will be as follows. For each public hearing, staff will introduce the agenda item and present a summary of the staff report. The applicant will then be asked to explain their proposal in further detail and to answer any questions from the Planning Commission members. I will then open the floor to public comment, first for the persons in support of the application and then for persons in opposition of the application. When you step up to the podium, please state your name and address and speak clearly into the microphone. Speakers are encouraged to only address new and relevant information pertaining to the ap item. Excuse me. <clears throat> Above all, please be cordial to all meeting participants and refrain from side conversations and speaking out of turn, or you will be asked to leave. Lastly, decisions on rezoning applications will be scheduled for an additional public hearing during an upcoming Joint County Board of Commissions and City Council meeting. Decisions on conditional use permit applications may be appealed to the County Board of Commissioners and City Council by submitting a letter to the County Planning and Zoning Office within five business days. Okay. I will now do roll call on the county side. Commissioner Jongling. Yes. Commissioner Boots? Here. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Poppins? Here. And Commissioner Hogan is here. And we will move to the city side. Sioux Falls, go ahead and do your roll call. What are you looking for? Uh, roll call? Yes, please. Roll call. City of Sioux Falls, um, we have quorum, so we're um, set for the meeting. That's good, okay. All right, I will now ask for the approval of the minutes. So move. Second, Green. All right, we have a motion and a second on the county side. And we'll do roll call. Commissioner Jongling? Yes. Commissioner Boots? Yes. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Poppins? Yes. And Commissioner Hogan is a yes. And on the city side? Here, but it sounds like you approved the minutes, so I'll do the same on the city side. So do we have a motion to approve the minutes on the city side? Motion to approve the November minutes. That was from Paulson. Do we have a second? Second. Norman. Second from Norman. All those in favor, please say yes. Yes. Great. We have approved the minutes on the city side. Thank you. And now I will ask for approval of the agenda for this evening. So moved. Green. Second, juggling. All right, we have an, a motion for approval and a second. And I will now call roll. Commissioner Jongling? Yes. Commissioner Boots? Yes. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Poppins? Yes. And Commissioner Hogan is a yes. So we will move over to the city side for approval of tonight's agenda. All right, on the city side, do we have a motion to approve the agenda for tonight? A motion to approve the agenda tonight. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say yes. 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 All right, the city has approved the agenda. Thank you. Now I'll ask for any public input on non-agenda items. Seeing none, I will move forward to the consideration of unfinished business. Uh, none, Madam Chair. All right. We will move forward to tonight's public hearing. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Toby Brown representing County Planning. The uh, item that you have before you this evening is an uh, application to rezone property. 
Uh, the applicant for this item is Adam Scott. Uh, the property owner is Bryn Kevco, Bryn Kevco Properties, LLC. Uh, the location of this property is adjacent to the city of Sioux Falls. Uh, for more directions, it would be just south of the intersection of 57th Street and South Dakota Highway 11. Uh, the comprehensive plan does identify this property as future uh, uh, residential property. Um, the uh, property, so the, there's currently, uh, the, the full parcel is about 34 acres in size. What the applicant is proposing is to rezone approximately an acre of that property. Um, and so on the screen now is identified where that particular property would be. Um, as you can see, the, the, current, the parent parcel and the, the subject one acre parcel is currently zoned A1 Agricultural. It is adjacent to I-1 Light Industrial. That property to the north is developed uh, with uh, storage, warehousing, and contractor shops. Uh, Kitty Corner uh, would be to the north and to the east. Uh, that is the Frankman Auto Sales uh, Complex. Um, as mentioned, the property is currently uh, not improved. The full 34 acres, there is some agricultural structures to the south, as you can see on the screen here, but where they would be placing uh, the rezone or the one acre would be here. Um, so the applicant it did submit this application to rezone an acre of this property that is currently zoned A1 Agricultural to commercial. Um, the concept plan that the applicant submitted with the applications, it would be a retail type use. Uh, so the, the, uh, the applicant currently owns Golf Addiction, which is an operating business in the city of Sioux Falls. Uh, this would be a second location for them at this facility. Again, that's conceptually. Um, again, when we're looking at a rezone, you're looking at essentially all the different types of uses that could be located uh, within that zoning district. Uh, so staff did review the application. Again, this is within the joint jurisdictional area with Sioux Falls. So county staff and city staff did have conversations about the application. Uh, identified that the comprehensive plan, as I noted earlier, identifies this particular area as future residential property. Um, in addition to that, uh, the property is currently contiguous. The, the parent piece is currently contiguous to the city of Sioux Falls. Policy is, is that the property would then generally be annexed into the city uh, so it could be developed uh, with city type uh, land uses and regulations. Um, it's also I believe this is either there it's, there's utilities available to the site or it is a tier one area. So there's, um, it, there is either a tier one or there is uh, utilities available for that site. Uh, so staff recommendation is for denial of this application. Uh, staff feels that this property would be better be annexed into the city um, and developed with infrastructure from the city and then also um, developed in accordance with their, with the city type regulations. So with that, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have for county staff at this time. Mr. Brown, there we go, it's working. Does this have to be platted or anything off from the other 34? Yes. Before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we've discussed that with the applicant. There would have to be a plat submitted that would divide that one acre out of it. But conceptually, this is what it would look like now. So. Uh, Toby, just for clarity, the exhibit in purple is currently zoned what? Uh, light industrial. And the red is Commercial. proposed? Yeah, commercial. Yep. Is the item that they have in, intended to put there not allowed in industrial? Um, if, that's a good question on that part of it. Uh, the type of use that they're requesting it would be retail, so it'd be more than fit in the commercial type. Zone yeah, industry. just curiosity of because of trying to have mixed zonings in a in yep. a tight area. Yep. So, thank you. Yep. Thank you. The applicant is in attendance this evening. So. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we'll now have the applicant come up to the podium. Please state your name and address for record, please. Uh, Adam Scott, 26548 463rd, Hartford, South Dakota. Um, We'd like to table this discussion until next month agenda. We're working with the landowner currently on some projects that have come up through this uh, process. Uh, so we'd look to forward this on to next month's meeting if possible.
council. Madam Chair, I'll offer that motion and we'll see where it goes to the next month's meeting. Yeah, I'll second the motion to table. Okay, we have a motion to table and a second. Is there any discussion? You want? Nope. City of Sioux Falls, we do have a motion to table and a second on the county side. Would you like us to make a motion and then vote as a group all together? We can't. I'm, I'm sorry, we couldn't hear you. So are, are you, is the county going to vote on that motion and then the city, or do you want to have us make a motion and vote at the same time? I, this, is, this is not usually how it goes. Usually you guys will vote and then we'll do ours, so I didn't hear a vote on your side. Yeah, we're just, I'm just asking if there's any comments on your side, and then we will go ahead and vote. No comments on this side. Perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a vote on the table. Um, Commissioner Jongling. Yes. Commissioner Boots. Yes. Commissioner Green. Yes. Commissioner Poppins. Yes. And Commissioner Hogan is a yes. So we'll go over to the city side. Okay, on the city side, the county has made a motion to defer this item until, I'm not sure of the date of the next meeting in July, but we'll find that and put that in the, the motion. Do I have a motion to, on our side to do that? Motion to defer until the uh, July meeting, uh, Fulton. Second, Niagara. All right, we have a motion and a second. Um, all those in favor, please say yes. 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 All right, the um, motion passed on the city side for deferral until next month's meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. We'll go ahead and we'll table it until next month, and I'm sure Toby will be you'll be speaking with Toby. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, we will now, uh, is there any new business, Toby? Uh, none, Madam Chair. Perfect. All right. With that, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. All in favor on the county side? Aye. 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 In the city? All right. We have a motion on the city side to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Colton. Second, Norman. All those in favor, please respond with yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. We are adjourned on the city side. Thanks, All right. everyone. Thank you. See you next month.